Choicen and choicen the prayers of the third and the sixth hour we offer unto Christ our God and King, beseeching him to forgive us our sins from the Psalms and hymns of David the prophet and the King. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. together the Lord shall hear you in the day of your trouble the name of the God of Jacob defend you he shall send you help from his holy and uphold you out of Zion he shall remember all your sacrifices and rich your burnt offering the Lord shall grant you according to your heart and fulfill all your counsel we will confess your salvation in the name of our God we shall grow the Lord shall fulfill all your petitions now I know that the Lord has saved his anointed he shall hear him from his holy heaven salvation of his right hand is in mighty deeds these in chariots these in horses in the name of the Lord our God, we will grow. They are overthrown and fallen. For we risen, set up right. O Lord, save your king. Here since day we call upon you. Alleluia. Holy, 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 a gospel according to our teacher, St. John. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. When the comfort of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, has come, he shall teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all the things that I have said unto you. My peace I give unto you, my peace I give, my peace I have with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. You have heard... How I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice because I said, I go unto, go unto my, I'll go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. Now I have told you before it comes to pass that when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the Prince of the world has ha, comes has nothing with in me, but that the world, 
may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, so I do arise. Let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit takes away. Every branch that he that bears fruit, he prunes, and may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. I bind in me and I in you. Glory be to God forever and ever. In the saints of God, we proclaim in peace. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> For you have risen and saved us. Have mercy on us, your Holy Spirit, O Lord, whom you send forth upon your holy disciples and your honor apostles in the third hour. Do not take away from us, O good one, but... Renew him within us, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. <laughs> O Lord, who sent down your Holy Spirit upon your holy disciples and your honor apostles in the third hour, do not take him away from us, O good one, but we ask you to renew him within us. O Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Word, a right and life-giving Spirit, a spirit of prophecy and chastity, a spirit of holiness, righteousness, and authority. O the Almighty One, you are the light of our souls. O you who gives light to every man that comes into the world, have mercy on us. <speaking in Hebrew> o Theotokos, you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life. We ask you, O full of grace, with the apostles for the salvation of our souls. Blessed is the Lord our God, blessed is the Lord day by day. He prepares our way for he is the God of our salvation. <speaking in Hebrew> O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is present in all places and fills all the treasure of good things and the life giver, graciously come and dwell in us and purify us from all defilement, O Good One, and save our souls. Just as you were with your disciples, O Savior, and give them peace, gracefully come also and be with us, grant us your peace and save us and deliver our souls. Whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary, we consider standing in heaven. O thought of course, you are the gate of heaven, open for us, the gate of mercy. Holy God, holy, holy mighty, God. holy immortal, who was born of the virgin, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead and sent to heaven to have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> now and to age of all ages, amen. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sick of your people. Heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep, O Lord, repose their souls. O you without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. O you who without sin, Lord, help us. Receive our supplications. For yours is the glory, dominion, triple holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. Make us worthy to pray thankfully and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Hail to you, we ask you, O saint, full of glory, the ever-virgin, the mother of God, the mother of Christ. Prayers unto your beloved Son, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to the Holy Virgin, who bore for us the true light, Christ our God. Ask the Lord on our behalf, that he may have mercy on our souls and forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the trusted Ad intercede on our behalf before Christ whom you bore, that he may grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race, who bore for us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O trusted Advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy, 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 a gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. 
Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are on the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. And glory be to God forever. Amen. May the sayings of God be fulfilled in peace. We worship you, O Christ. Who is the Father and the Holy Spirit? Who is risen and saved us? Have mercy on us. O oh, you, on the sixth day and in the sixth hour, was nailed to the cross for the sin which our father Adam dared to command in paradise, there the handwriting of our sins. O oh, Christ our God, and save us, I cried to the Lord, and he heard me. God, hear my prayer and do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me and hear me in the evening, in the morning, and at midday. I say my words, and he hears my voice and delivers my soul in peace. O oh, Jesus Christ, our God, who was nailed to the cross in the sixth hour and killed sin by the tree, and by your death you made alive the dead man whom you created with your own hands and had died in sin, put to death our pains by your healing and life-giving passions and by the nails which you were nailed, rescue our minds from thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and worldly lust to the remembrance of your heavenly commandments according to your compassion. Amen. Since we have no favor, nor excuse, nor justification because of our many sins, we through you implore to him who was born of you, O Theotokos, the virgin, for abundant and unacceptable is your intercession with our Savior. O pure mother, do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore, for he is merciful and able to save us because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us, for we are exceedingly humbled. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name. You are salvation in the midst of all the earth, O Christ our God, as you stretch your holy hands on the cross. Therefore, all nations cry out, saying, Glory to you, O Lord. Worship your incorruptible person, O good one, asking for the forgiveness of our sins, O Christ our God. For of your will, you were pleased to be lifted up unto the cross to deliver those whom you created from the bondage of the enemy. We cry out unto you, we give thanks to you. You have filled all with joy, O Savior, when you came into the world. Lord, glory be to you. <laughs> You are she who is full of grace, O Theotokos, the virgin, we praise you, for through the cross your son, your son Hades fell down and death was abolished. We were dead, but we were raised and became worthy of eternal life and gained the delight of the first paradise. Therefore, we thankfully glorify the immortal Christ, our God. We magnify you, the mother of the true life. We glorify you, O Saint, the Theotokos, who be our forefathers, the Savior of the world. He came and saved our souls. Glory to you, our Master, our King Christ, the pride of the apostles, the the joy of the righteous, the firmness of the church, is the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity in one Godhead. We worship him, we glorify him. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless us, amen. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrat, who created heaven and earth and all things seen in us. We believe in one Lord. Salvation came down from heaven and was garnered of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary became and he was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried and on the third day he rose from the dead according to the scripture and ascended to the heavens. And he's come again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, and the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church we confess prophets. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the coming age. Amen. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, hear us, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Lord, have mercy. Amen. 
As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord. In honor, honor and glory to the all holy Trinity, O Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Peace and edification to the one holy Catholic, Apostolic Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifice. Choices 
fjot, nëmë pëshiri, nëmë pëpë nëmë thua e pënot të not, e vizë marë o të njëf, pënot të fjot, pipën të kratur. Amin. E vizë marë o të njëf, pjef mënë o genisë në qiri, Isos për Christos bën qojës. Amin. E vizë marë o të njëf, pjef nëf ma e thë o web, in paraklitur. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, God forever. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you, all you nations. Praise, praise Him, all you peoples, for His mercy is confirmed upon, and upon us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> Prosov kis ta sita. Kireni pasi. Ketom nevmati. Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for He has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto Himself, spared us, supported us, and brought us. To this hour, let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Prozivik Saste. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything, concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto yourself, spared us, support us, and brought us to this hour. Pray that God have a mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, accept us, uh, the salvation, the prayers of saints for that which is good, our behalf at all times, and make worship to partake the communion of his holy body, bless mysteries for the remission of saints. Lord have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this table and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For it is you who has given us authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy.
May your servants, the minister of this day, all the people in my weak self, be absolved by the mouth of the All Holy Trinity, O Father, Son, Holy Spirit, by the mouth of the One Holy Catholic Apostolic Church, by the mouths of the Twelve Apostles, by the mouth of the Beholder of God, Saint Mark the Evangelist and Martyr, the Patriarch Saint Severus, our Teacher Dioscorus, Saint Athanasius the Apostolic, Saint Peter the Holy Martyr and High Priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory. From the mouths of 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, the 200 at Ephesus. From the mouth of our honored father, the high priest, Pope Abba, to others the second, from my mouth being the least. For blessed and full of glory is your holy name, O Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever unto the age of all ages. Amen.
to the Romans. His blessings be with us. Amen. But it is not that the word of God has taken no effect, for they, for they are not all Israel who are of Israel, nor are they all children, because they are the seed of Abraham. But in Isaac your seed shall be called. That is, those who are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time I will come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one man, even by our father Isaac, for the children not yet being born, nor having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to the election might, might stand, not of works, but of him who calls. It was said to her, the older shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Certainly not. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whomever I will have compassion. So then it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but of God who shows mercy. For the scripture says to Pharaoh, even for this same purpose I have raised you up, that I might show my power in you, and that my name might be declared in all earth. Therefore he has mercy on whom he wills, and and whom he wills he hardens. You will say to me then, why does he still find fault? For who has resisted his will? But indeed a man, who are you, to reply against God? Will the thing formed say to him who formed it, Why have you made me like this? Does not the potter have power over the clay from the same lump to make one vessel for honor and honor for dishonor? 
What if God, wanting to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath prepared for destruction, and that he might have known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had prepared beforehand for glory? Even us whom he called, not as the Jews only, but also the Gentiles. As he, al as he says also in Hosea, I will call them my people who were not, my people and, and her beloved who was not beloved. And <clears throat> it shall come to pass in, in the place where it was said to them, you are not my people. There they will be called sons of the living God. Isaiah also cries out concerning, through... Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, the remnant will be saved, for he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because the Lord will make a short work upon the earth. And as Isaiah said before, unless the Lord of Sabbath had left us a seed, we would have become like Sodom, and we would have made them like Gomorrah. What shall we say then, that Gentiles who did not pursue righteousness have attained to righteousness? Even the righteousness of faith, but Israel, pursuing the law of righteousness, has not attained to the law of righteousness. Why? Because they did not seek it by faith, but as it were, by the works of the law. For they stumbled at the stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense. And whoever believes in him will not, will not be put to shame. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the first epistle by teacher St. John, may his blessing be with us, amen. Therefore let that abide in you which you heard from the beginning, if what you heard from the beginning abides in you. You will, be, you will abide in the Son and the Father. And this is the promise that he has promised us, eternal life. These things I have written to you concerning those who try to deceive you. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you, and you do not need that anyone teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and it's true. It is not a lie. And just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he appears, we have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. For if you know that he is righteous, you will know that everyone who, ha who practices righteousness is born of him. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know because it did not know him. Beloved, now we are children, we are now children of God, and it had not been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who has a hope in him purifies him just as he is pure. Do not love the world and the things in the world. The world is passing away and it's lost. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen.
the acts of our fathers, the apostles, their holy blessings be with us. Amen. Then he gave him the covenant of circumc circumcision. And so Abraham begot Isaac and circumcised him on the eighth day. And Isaac begot in Jacob, and Jacob begot the twelve patriarchs. And the patriarchs, becoming envious, sold Joseph into Egypt. But God was with him and delivered him out of all his troubles and gave him favor and wisdom in the presence of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. Now a famine and a great trouble came over all the land of Egypt and Canaan, and our fathers found no sustenance. But when Jacob heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent out our fathers first. And the second time Joseph was made known to his brothers, and Joseph's family, be family became known to the Pharaoh. Then Joseph sent and called his father Jacob and all his relatives to him, 75 people. So Jacob went down to Egypt, and he died, he and our fathers. And they were carried back to Shechem and laid in the tomb that Abraham bought for a sum of money from the sons of Hamor, at the father of Shechem. But when the time of the promise drew near which God has sworn to Abraham, the people grew and multiplied in Egypt, till another king arose who did not know Joseph. This man dealt treacherously with our people and oppressed our forefathers, making them expose their babies so that they might not live. At this, at this time, Moses was born and was well-pleasing to God, and he was brought up in his father's house for three months. But when he had set out, Pharaoh's daughter took him away and brought him, out, brought him up as her own son. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was mighty in words and deeds. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. Today is the 23rd day of the blessed month of Kiyak. May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and our iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, O my fathers and my brethren. Amen. On this day, the year 2990 of the world, the great king and saintly honored prophet David, son of Jesse, departed. He was the second king over the children of Israel and the first among their kings to walk in virtue and justice. He was from the tribe of Judah and from Bethlehem. God chose him to be king over Israel when Saul, the son of Kish, disobeyed the commandment of God. God commanded the prophet Samuel to anoint him one of the children of Jesse, a king over Israel. Samuel chose the eldest son who had a good appearance and was tall in stature, but God rejected him and said to Samuel, do not look at the appearance or at her physical stature because I have refused him for the Lord does not see a man, see what a man sees for man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Jesse called all his sons and showed him Samuel and he chose David and anointed him king. God was with him in all his ways for, all, for his purity of heart and his meekness. He overcame Saul who wanted to kill him on several occasions. Once Saul went out to kill David and he went into a cave to attend to his needs. David came to him secretly and cut off a corner of Saul's robe to show him that he wouldn't stretch his hand to kill him. Another time David found him sleeping and he took a spear and a jug of water and was by his head and did not hurt him and spared his life for the second time. When David's men told him to destroy Saul, David said, the Lord forbid that I should stretch out my hand against the Lord's anointed. When a man announced to David the news about the death of his rival Saul saying, I stood over him and killed him. David took hold of his own clothes and tore them and he mourned him. David called out one of the young men and said, go near and execute him. And he struck the man so that he died. God honored this prophet over all mankind, for he had many virtues besides the virtue of humility. He was a prophet, a righteous man, and a just king. In spite of that, he called himself a dead dog and a flea. God praised him by saying, I found David, the son of Jesse, a man over my own heart who will do all my will. God protected Jerusalem for his sake during his lifetime and after his death, and he made the king of the people, the kings of the people of Israel from his seed, and he called himself his son. 
He prophesied in the book of Psalms, which is a book full of useful teachings and good instructions. David's might and power were supported by God. When he was young and guarding, <coughs> and guarding his father's sheep, once a bear, another time a lion, attacked his sheep, and David killed both the bear and the lion. When the army of Israel faced the army of the Philistines and Goliath, the champion of the Philistines, whose height was six cubits and a span, and who was armored with bronze helmets on his head and a coat weighing 5,000 shekels of bronze. And he had bronze greaves on his legs and a bronze javelin between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam and his iron spearhead weighed 600 shekels. Goliath went out, stood up, and cried out to the armies of Israel, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give us a man, we may fight together. The Philistine presented himself for 40 days, morning and evening. All of Israel heard these words and were dismayed and greatly afraid. When David came to visit his brothers and brought provisions to, to their camp, he came, he saw, and heard Goliath. David was moved with divine zeal and said to him, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David took out a stone, and he slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead so that the stone sank in his forehead, and he fell on his face to the ground. David ran and stood over the Philistine, took his sword, and cut off his head and removed the reproach of Israel. David lived 70 years, 30 of which were before he became a king. He was born 1,120 years before Christ. His praise be with us all. Amen. On this day also the fighter St. Moses the Anachorite departed. He was born of God-loving parents who educated and raised him according to the church disciplines. He desired the monastic life and became a monk in one of the monasteries. He loved the solitary life and lived in a cell alone near the monastery. He lived there for some time making a living from his handiwork. The enemy of everything that is good tried to deceive him by appearing to him in the form of a nun who approached him to buy his handiwork. Because of her frequent visits, a special relationship developed between them. They sat to eat together at one table. After a short time, the saint realized the trick of the devil to make him fall into sin. He remembered the hour of death and the awesome nature of judgments. Consequently, he arose and took flight from that place. God guided him to another place with a spring of water and a palm tree. He stayed there practicing worship and asceticism. He reached a great level in his ascetic life so to the extent that the wild beasts befriended him. This continued for 30 years during which his hair became very long and spared him for wearing clothes. When he finished his course and fought the good fight, he departed in peace. His prayers be with us all and glory be to God forever. Amen. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear, 
and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Remember also our Master, those who have bidden us to remember them in our prayers and supplications, which we offer up unto you. O oh Lord, our God, those who have already fallen asleep, O oh Lord, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all. You are the resurrection of us all. and come and save us uh, uh, Stand up in the fear of God and let us listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. May His Holy Blessing. Hey, 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 hey. Blast is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord God and Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, to whom is the all glory. Forever. 
Now Elizabeth's full time came to her to be delivered, and she brought forth a son. When her neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child, and they would have called him the name of his father, Zacharias. His mother answered and said, No, he shall be called John. But they said to her, There is no one among your relatives who is called by this name. So they made signs to his father what he would have called him. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, saying, His name is John. So they all marveled. Immediately his mouth was open and his tongue loose, and he spoke, praising God. Then fear came on all who dwelt around them, and all sayings were discussed throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all those who heard them kept them in their hearts, saying, What kind of child will this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. Now his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and he had, and has raised up the horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, those which he swore to his father Abraham to grant that we beginning to that we beginning delivered from the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in, holy, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the highest, for you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, which with which the day spring from on high has visited us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. So the child grew and became strong in spirit and was in the, in the desert till the days of his manifestation to Israel. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm very happy to see you all here early. We had a long night yesterday, so I'm very happy that we're able to come together and start this new year off together by celebrating the Eucharist and uh, abiding in Christ. Uh, uh, two quick announcements. As you know, this the feast will be coming this Friday. Um, God willing, there'll be three liturgies. Uh, uh, the Arabic will be in Bethany, the English will be downstairs, and there'll be an Arabic-English uh, liturgy up here. All the liturgies will start at 7.30, God willing. Um, and God willing, on Saturday is the Sunday school party. I don't know what time they're going to start, but you'll get some... 11. The Sunday school party will start at 11, God willing, on Saturday. Um Today also happens to be the feast of David the prophet, so one of my favorite saints. Um, so we, um, last Sunday of Kiyak, the fourth Sunday of Kiyak, and today the theme we have the uh, the um, a prayer by Zechariah after his mouth was loosed, after his son was named. The name John means God is gracious. And the reason why God, the angel told Elizabeth to name the son John and Zechariah agreed is for the very reason that um, we want to talk about today. So 
God is gracious. And John, when we, the coming and the birth of John, is the first revelation to us that God is coming and he has uh, salvation intended for all of us. I want it, um, and th therefore, God is showing us how gracious he is, in, even for him, to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemy, we might serve him without fear and holiness, righteousness before him all the days of our life. Now, the one word that you may have seen in the act, in the Pauline, the Catholic, the Acts, and now here in, in Zechariah's prayer in the Gospel of Luke is this word of covenant. And how appropriate that this new year, the theme of the fourth Sunday of Kyak, this idea of an agreement, a covenant between us and God, how fitting it is that most of us as we start this new year should begin and make a covenant with God. Now, Zechariah explained to us in his prayer what God did on his side of the agreement. A covenant is between two, us and God. And he says in the prayers that we just listened to, all the things God has done towards us. And now we are called to respond. So, he says to us, blessed is the Lord God of Israel. He has visited and redeemed his people. And St. Athanasius tells us, what does it mean to redeem? He says, on our cause was the occasion of his descent that our own transgressions evoked the words love for human beings so that the Lord both came to us and appeared among human beings. So the first thing St. Athanasius is telling us, by God leaving heaven and coming he came because, out of love. We are the reason why Christ came. He had no choice. And what do we mean by he had no choice? On the incarnation, if you read the book, it says God had a dilemma, what to do. He had an agreement with Adam and Eve. They broke their agreement. If he didn't hold Adam and Eve and humanity accountable, it would be absurd, is the word St. Athanasius used. But if he destroyed them, it would be improper. So how can God create something and then destroy it? But how also God, who's just, who's righteous, who's perfect, see something wrong and not allow us to be accountable? So God had a dilemma. So the only choice he had was to come. And then St. Athanasius continues on it and he says, do you know what this means for Christ to come and redeem? It's a big list. Do you understand what God needs to do for us for us to be saved and to be redeemed, he says, number one, he had to take what is ours. He had to find a temple for himself, St. Mary. He had to take flesh and be hungry and thirsty and cold and scared and every feeling that humans have. He had to endure all of them so that we, what are being redeemed, he has taken what is ours. Second, he says, he had to deliver what he took to death because the wages of sin is death. So he leaves heaven. He takes the form of his servant, which he created, dust. And after he takes this form of dust, he creates a plan which will lead to his death. After he leads to his death, he has to do something else. He has to turn away all of us from corruption. Everyone who comes after him has to die in him through the sacrament of baptism, and then be risen again in incorruption. So he had to give us the sacraments. Then St. Saint, uh, Saint Athanasius says, not only did he stop there, after he finished, he made sure that he paid the price on our behalf. He gave us life after death, and he prepared a place for us. Finally, he destroyed the power of death. Death means nothing, because we enter... Through death, we enter into paradise. It is a passageway to live with him in the place he has prepared for us. I don't want to read the very long quote by St. Athanasius from the Incarnation, but the summary is redemption is very expensive. Redemption cost our Lord Jesus Christ heaven. He came down and took flesh. It cost him pain and hunger and suffering. It cost him 
sadness when he cried and wept over Lazarus. It cost him to be pitiful for the rich young man who doesn't see the message he's trying to deliver. It cost him a lot of things. So he redeemed us, his part of the agreement. Number two, he raised, uh, Zechariah says, he raised the horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Horn, the, the, the term horn means power, and it also means royalty. So he gave us the power of salvation or gave us to be royal. St. Cyril of Alexandria says, the word horn is not only used for power, but also for royalty. But Christ, who is the Savior, that hath risen for us from the, the family of the race of David is both, meaning he has power and he is royalty. For he is a king of kings, the invincible power of the Father. Christ, in his coming, came to be king and asked us, do you want to be my subjects or not? Do you desire to follow the king of this world or do you come and here's the, here's the alternative? And he gave us a kingdom to live in and a king to follow and allowed us to allow him to reign in our lives. In our baptism, if you remember, the first thing, one of the first prayers we do, we look towards the west and we renounce the kingdom of this earth and Satan. And we look towards the east and we say we want to be a member of your kingdom. So as Zechariah said, he raised the power, salvation. He gave us power. He gave us a kingdom. He gave us to be children of a king. We are no longer weak. We are no longer subject to death. We are no longer slaves to the master of this world. He gave us something much larger. The question for us as we evaluate what he has done for us, as we evaluate this love, the request from us is to how do I offer my side of the covenant? So his, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to come down. If you look at the famous um, Sistine Chapel in the Vatican, um, on the roof of the chapel, you have Adam and God with the finger. And God is stretching out his hand, right? And, and Adam is sitting back lazily with his finger like this. Do you guys remember that painting? I don't know what it's called. Anybody remember what it's called? It's a very famous painting uh, by uh, uh, Deang uh, uh, Michael D'Angelo, and it's God doing all the work, and Adam very lazily looking up to God, trying to reach for his finger. God is doing the work. All we have to do is accept. And in all the readings today, there's two commandments of us, faith and hope. Uh, sorry, faith and hope. Faith and love, sorry. Faith and love. Faith, do we trust God or not? Do we trust God or not? You only enter a partnership, a deal, a transaction, if you trust the person who's in front of you. Over and over again in our prayers, you're seeing that the church is trying for us to understand what God has done, the other side of the arrangement. Do you trust him? Do you believe in him or not? And he's saying in the, in the, in the readings today, in the, in the epistle of John, he says, and this is the promise that he has promised us eternal life, that these things I have written to you concerning those who try to deceive you, but the anointing which you have received from, the, from him abides in you. And then he says, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called his children. Therefore, the world does not know us, but because it did not know him. So God made a promise to us. Do we have faith and believe or not? Do we believe that everything he has done will lead me to heaven or not? Do we believe the instructions he gives me when he says to me, Please, it is better to give than to receive. Please, it is better to forgive so that I can forgive you. Please, it is better to turn the other cheek. He gives us command. It's better to honor your parents. It's better to live in peace. These are all his commandments. When we read them, the question that we have to ask ourselves, do we trust him to keep his promise or not? This is the new covenant. When our Lord Jesus Christ takes flesh 
and we celebrate the Feast of the Incarnation this Friday, he started the agreement. I did my part. I came. Do you trust me or no? And if you trust me, why aren't you listening? If you trust me, why aren't you listening? Why do we continue to say, well, I have to lie. I have to cheat. Why? He told you, if you trust me, if you trust me, I will show you. I will show you. The second part of the agreement is love. I love, he, um, he loved us first while we were still in sin. He left heaven for us while we did nothing. His response or his request of us, do you love me back or not? And how do we ask ourselves this question? It's very easy to say I love God. Very easy to say that. But the question for you is this. If it's if you love God, how do you spend your time with him? Or how much time do you spend with him? How do you divide your resources according to him or not? How do you behave towards others because of your love for him or not? It's very easy for us to say I love you. It's very difficult to spend time with him, not him in general, to dedicate and focus on him. For as we are starting this new year, the church is reminding us of this new covenant, and we talk about it, this new covenant that is starting. God is saving man. The law didn't work. God is coming to do it himself. He's coming. He paid a very long price, a very... Uh, very high cost to save us. He came in humility. He came in love. And he's asking two things. This covenant is based on faith. Do you trust me? And if you trust me, obey me. And if you obey me and you trust me, you will begin to love me. And love works. Our love grows as we experience God, as we spend time with God, as we see his work in our life, our love for him grows. So as we start this new year, let us renew our covenant that we made in our baptism, our parents made for us, that we make every year, that we make every liturgy, that we make every day in the Agbeya. The promise to rise this day, this, this new year, to live in Him, to be blessed by the Holy Spirit, to have victory over sin, if you think of all the hours of the Agbeya, to rest Having seen, as Simeon says, my eyes have seen, oh Lord, now you're letting your servant depart. I have seen your salvation. We live each day, live each year, asking God to show us, like Simeon, his salvation in our daily life. And the Agbeya ends every day the same way. Now I can sleep. Why? Because my eyes saw your salvation in my life today. May God give us faith to trust him, Give us a heart filled with love for him and allow us to guide our new year in his ways and glory be to God forever. Amen. And so first, you brought some man, Kriyalais on Kriyalais on Hano, met me. The Christ, who created heaven and earth and all things seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father, before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, co essential with the Father, by whom all things were made. Who for us, men and for salvation, came down from heaven was and was born of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose from the dead, 
According to the scriptures, he ascended into the heavens, he sat at the right hand of his Father, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, who believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, and the Father and Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and in one holy Catholic solid church. We confess in baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead. Ten goste volchai ten ti anastasi senteni refma lembi on gente bi ones neio God, the great, the eternal, who formed man in incorruption, and death which entered into the world through the envy of the devil, you have destroyed by your life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace, by which the hosts of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill toward men. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic kisses. Lord, Entailing death, and make us all worthy, O our Master, to greet one another with a holy kiss, that without falling into condemnation, we may partake of your mortal and heavenly gift. Bil
hate one another with a holy kiss. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Yes, Lord, O Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, hear us and have mercy in us. Offer an order. Stand with trembling look towards the east. Let us attend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, say, Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of ours. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. A mercy of peace, a Truly, indeed, it is meet and right. O you, the being master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the highest and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things, visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You who are seated, stand. Before, or whom stand. And the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look towards the east. You are he around whom stand the cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings praising continuously without ceasing, say. Let us attend. formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. <coughs> when we disobeyed your commandment by the deceit of the serpent, 
we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your holy prophets. And in the last days you manifested yourself to us who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. And became man and taught us the ways of salvation. He granted us the birth from on a high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the world, and as a ransom on our behalf, he gave himself up unto death, which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold. On account of our sins, he descended into Hades through the uh, cross. from the dead on the third day he ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand O father he has appointed a day for recompense on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds Of course, Avici in oik, Ijen nivjig eth o web, in a touch in yon ex o live, o wo em makari yon, o wo en reftan ho. Of Gostep show it fair, hard rock feet from Finotif no, O Tio, if Niven Teo Niven, et of Shepemot of the small wear off of her aggy as in a Of tifinet in of nagios in masitis, O wo in apostoloses, O web ev go e mus jechisium if all in het fetiro, Fairar pepasoma itonavash, 
Ijentino nem han kemish in setev, Ebko e volente ni novi, Fayaret fe paeref mevi. Likewise, also the cup after supper, he mixed it with wine and water, and when he had given thanks, he blessed it, he sanctified it. tasted and gave it to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. This do in remembrance of me. Every time you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. Ascension into the heaven, we confess, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we As we also commemorate his holy passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into the heavens, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory. We offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything, concerning everything, and in everything. Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. Oh, 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 oh. Let us attend a man. bread he makes into his holy body. I believe. Amen. And this cup also, the precious blood of his new covenant. Again, I believe. God and Savior Jesus Christ given for remission of sins, eternal life to those who partake of Him. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Yes, we ask you, O Christ our God, confirm the foundations of the church. Lord, have mercy. The oneness of heart that is of love, may it take root in us. May the righteousness of faith grow straight in for us the way of godliness. Lord, have mercy. Control the shepherds and those whom they shepherd, confirm. Splendor to the clergy, asceticism to the monks. Lord, have mercy. Purity to those in virginity, a life of goodness to those in wedlock. Mercy to those in repentance, goodness to the rich. Lord, have mercy. Meekness to the honorable, help to the poor. Success to the students and jobs to those in need. Lord, have mercy. Strengthen the elders, chasten the young. Restore the unbelievers, make the the schisms of the church cease. Lord, have mercy. Strip the vanity of the heretics and count us in all the unity of godliness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So worthy, our Master, to partake of your holies unto the purification of our souls, our bodies, and our spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and have a share and inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church of God. Lord, have mercy. This which you have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. Foremost, remember, Lord, our blessed and Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, Pope Abba Thwaitus II, and his brother, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mark Ignatius, from the second. Pray for our High Priest, Pope Abba Thwaitus II, Pope and Patriarch, and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria, and his spiritual brethren, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mark Ignatius, from the second, and for Orthodox bishops. Lord, those who rightly handle the word of truth with him, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegomens priests and deacons. Pray for the Hegomens priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the Church of God. Lord, And all the servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of your faithful people. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Son, O Christ. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and of the city of ours and all of Cities, districts, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell therein in God's faith. Graciously accord, O Lord, to bless the air of the heavens, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, the plants of the field. This year, pray for the air of the heaven, the fruits of the earth, the rising of the waters, the rivers, the seas, the herbs, and the plants of the field. This year, that Christ our God may bless them, have compassion on His creation, which hands and made, and forgive us our worst sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Raise.
raise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting and manage our lives as deemed fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, for the sake of us all who entreat and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O you who gives food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we, to having sufficiency in everything, always may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord, As this, O Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son, that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos, Saint Mary, who truly gave birth to God the Logos, and Saint John the Forerunner, Baptist and Martyr, Saint Stephen the Archdeacon and Proto-Martyr, the Beholder of God, the Evangelist Mark, the Holy Apostle, and martyr, the patriarch, Saint Severus, our teacher, Dioscorus, Saint Athanasius, the apostolic, Saint Peter, the holy martyr, and high priest, Saint John, Chrysostom, Saint Theodosius, Saint Tephila, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, theologian, Saint Gregory, the wonder worker, and Saint Gregory, the Armenian, the 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous Father, the great Abba Antony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints, Abba Makari, and all their children, cross-bearers. Our Father, Abba John, the Higaman, our righteous Father, Abba Pshoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Our Father, Abba Paul, of Tamu, and Ezekiel, his disciple, my Lord's the Roman Father, Saint Maximus, and Domedius, the 49 martyrs, the elders of Shehit, the strong saint Abba Moses, John Cami, the priest, our father Abba Daniel, the Higaman, our father Abba Isidore, the priest, our father Abba Chum of the Kanonia, and Theodore, his disciple, our father Abba Shenuda, the archman and right, and Abba Wisa, his disciple, and all the choir of your saints, through whose prayers and supplications have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us how our sins. May their
sustain them in a green pasture beside still waters in the paradise of joy, the place out of which grief, sorrow, and groaning have fled away in the light of your saints. Son, those, O Lord, whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place. And we too, who are sojourners in this place, keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. throughout the way into your kingdom, that as in this, so also in all things, your great and holy name may be glorified, blessed and exalted, in everything honored and blessed, with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you all. Again, let us give thanks to God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for he also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and the partaking of his divine and immortal mystery. Christ upon Tukrator, the Lord, our God. Amen, amen, pray. Lord, have mercy. Master, Lord, our God, the Creator, the Invisible, the Uncontainable, Immutable and Immeasurable, who sent His true light 
His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the eternal Logos. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. He who is in the fatherly bosom at all times, has come down and dwelt in the undefiled virginal womb. She, being a virgin, gave birth to him, and her virginity is sealed. praise him, and the heavenly host chant to him, proclaiming and saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your holy glory. Likewise, we too, the weak and sinful, make us worthy with them, O our good Master and lover of mankind, that with a pure heart we may praise you with him and the Holy Spirit, the coessential Holy Trinity, and raise our eyes towards you, O Holy Father, who is in the heavens, and say, Our Father. Such as passing, and if you get those who's passing against us, and it's not temptation for those who need one in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for that the kingdom, and the glory of God. Come, make it in stone. Oh, 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 oh
peace, everyone, Holy Catholic, Christ our Church. Remember, O Lord, our honored patriarch, Pope Alba XXII, Brother Bishop Caper. Remember, O Lord, our assemblies, bless them. Save the man, and with your spirit in the fear of God, let us attend. Amen, Lord, have mercy. For the holy, blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. 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 We will not have a whole of Amen. I believe, I believe, I believe, and confess to the last breath that this is the life-giving flesh that your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos, Saint Mary. He made it one with his divinity without mingling, without confusion, without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross, of his own will for us all. Truly, I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment nor a twinkle of an eye, given for us for salvation, remission of sins, eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe. Ah, I believe that this is so in truth. Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy communion of the Immaculate, Heavenly, and Holy Mystery. Is Lord have mercy.
cities as it comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, oh. 
Sound of the trumpet, Alleluia, Alleluia, the begotten of the Father before all ages came and took flesh from God. Praise Him with the sultry and orb, Alleluia. Sing sounding symbols, Alleluia, Alleluia, the begotten of the Father.
Filled with gladness, our tongue with rejoicing from our partaking of your immortal mysteries, O Lord. That which an eye has not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered the heart of man. The things which you, O God, have prepared for those who love your holy name. You have revealed to the little children of your church. Yes, O Father, this is the pleasure before you. For you are merciful, and we send up to you glory, honor, O Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now at all times, unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Bow your heads to the Lord. Before you, O Lord. Your servants, O Lord, who are serving you, entreating your holy name, and bowing down their heads to you. Dwell in them, O Lord. Walk among them. Aid them in every good deed. Wake their heart from every vile and earthly thought. Grant them to live and to think what is pertaining to the living and to understand the things that are yours. Through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, to whom we all your people cry out, saying, Have mercy on us, O God, our Savior. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Glory and honor, honor and glory to the Holy Trinity, O Father, Son, Holy Spirit. O angel of the sacrifice, flying up to the highest with this hymn, remember us before the throne of glory, that he may forgive us our sins. Let us praise with the angels, saying, Glory to God in highest peace on earth and goodwill towards men. Amen, alleluia, doxa, patrike, eioke, agionev, mati, keni, kai, kestos, eonas, toneonan, amin, tenos, te volem, kodesh, open choice, isos, pechrestos, imitje, volke, neviot, agao, enion, tiro, Sotiamon, 
Kyrie flogis o nemines moj, rojas moj, rojas tima, ten je hodmi, rodmies moj. Eminas es opi. in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil one in Christ Jesus our Lord for thine is kingdom power glory forever and ever amen now may the love of God the Father the grace of his only begotten Son our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ the peace and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all go in peace the peace of the Lord be with you all. Just a reminder, the Feast of the Nativity is this coming Friday evening at 7.30. There'll be three liturgies, one in Bethany, one downstairs, and one up here. And the Sunday school party will be on Saturday morning, God willing, God willing January 7th at 11 o'clock. Happy New Year and blessed Feast of the Nativity. <laughs>